in game one, final destination. Water Malone dot pop versus Nation Mexico. Fox versus Corin for game one. And good to see that one of these sets, even though there was probably like a few other ones that I may have commentated that did not start on Smashville because Smashville should not be legal. GABA. Anyway. <laughs> so we got Water Malone getting a small uh, percent lead. Getting um, a lot more out of neutral than uh, Nation Mexico is, but Nation Mexico not too far behind. Getting the counter, uh, looking for the counter, not getting it though. And uh, Water Malone actually giving up the stage and getting forward smashed in the face for the edge guard. And he does get some stage presence back and knock, manages to knock Naked Mexico off of the stage. But going for that forward smash is going to cost him not only stage control, but a stock. Very nice uh, side B by Naked Mexico. But uh, that side B, however, is going to get punished by up smash. And we are back to a very small percent lead. Uh, Nicky Mexico a little slow in the third up tilt there. And Water Malone showing how the up tilt game is done at the moment. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but um, I kid a lot. But we are seeing pretty much the... Mostly people just uh, throwing moves at each other. Very smart by Water Malone to go for the ledge there. He would have gotten hit by Korn's forward smash if he were to go onto the stage with that side B. I think he would have. But, uh, very nice uh, quick string by Naked Mexico to keep himself quite in this. Ooh, that forward smash is going to do it. Tipper taking out Fox, and game one's going to go to Naked Mexico. And, and Water Malone was actually winning the stage for the most part, but he was getting uh, hit by Corn Tippers to get punished on some really small mistakes. And Water Malone going the Corin ditto. Let's go, Corin versus Corin. I think Corin's gonna win. Okay, I'm sorry, that joke is definitely overused. We're doing it anyway. Let's see, Water Malone goes for a counter pick. We are. This might be a Dreamland kind of pick. It is a Dreamland kind of pick. So game two. And let's see if uh, Water Malone's Corrin is able to make the necessary adjustments for Water Malone to bring this to a game three, or will Naked Mexico make this a 2-0? Right now, uh, Big Mexico getting that counter, but the counter doesn't hit. Corn being a little too far away for that. And uh, Nick in Mexico is showing that this character switch is not working out for Water Malone as well as he'd like it to be. Very solid percent lead for Nick in Mexico right now, keeping Water Malone off the stage, keeping him out. And right now, it's just he's able to completely throw him off. He's uh, making Water Malone come to him, and every time he does, he's got uh, nothing to offer. But, um, very nice down smash. That is going to take out the first stock for Naked Mexico. You could say I need Water Malone standing up, but we can't see that on the player cam. So, we wonder if this is his final form or not. But so far, Water Malone actually making uh, quite a bit out of it. Taking the stage back from Naked Mexico, but uh, getting uh, tippered again. He's been getting hit by a lot of tippers. He needs to really be careful with his spacing. But Naked Mexico taking, retaking control of the stage for the most part, almost losing it. Very nice up B, sneaking that one in. And Claw not quite connecting there. Nigga Mexico going for broke with that up B. Gets up smashed for it. And up throw doesn't quite do it. That is a kill throw at higher percents. And from that top platform, would not be too surprised if that got a kill that early. Watermelon electing to go for the offstage. 
and does manage to hang on to stage control for the time being and gets the kill. But he does have a 117% deficit to try and work back with. Gets hit by the neutral B. Is that 146%? And this is looking really grim for uh, watermalone.pop. But it's not over till it's over, and you can definitely still bring it back. But he's going to be super careful about it because one hit will be good enough to just take him right out. Especially if uh, Naked Mexico yeah, manages to build up any rage. But uh, that being said, Water Malone pretty much at a lot of rage. Well, not quite connecting. Forge Smash, no tipper, doesn't quite kill. Well, I confuse the players. But uh, Water Malone actually controlling the stage and being somewhat patient, but he's been throwing out a lot of Forge Smash. But he does mix it, get the mix up. But uh, Naked Mexico getting a little kill hungry there. And SD's with the down air, allowing Water Malone to make that comeback. Water Malone dot pop. Huge percent deficit. But we are going to game three. Um, Corn won that. Yeah, it's 1 1. Unless they were resuming a set. Because. But uh, we are going to game three. Oh, is this a replay? This is a replay. Yeah, I'm just. I can't see, so I need one more attack. Am I wrong on this entirely? Did I just whip my commentary? If Fox won, then it's 2 0. Yeah. If Ward won, it's 1 0. I was sure. I know. I know. Corin won this. Okay. Then it's one one. Because uh, Fox died to two tippers. Yeah, that happens in that. That's... I won't take the whole thing if I can. So I can see. Wait, it's the other way around. Other way around. The other way around. All right, I'm gonna hop. In. I'm gonna hop in here. Yeah, somebody trying to troll and end the set right then and there, but it wasn't over yet. All right, last game of the set. Alright, so going again on corn dittos. Probably not Dreamland this time, I don't think so. They might have to go nah, Smash. I, I feel like they're gonna go Smashville. It would be it would be really weird because um Oh, we're not going there. Oh, I thought they picked the stage. Okay, so he's wait. wait. So Naked Mexico going Fox this time? No 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 it's, wait. Oh. I think right it's the other way it, around. Yeah, it's okay, so they they had this okay. So they switched ports. All right, all right. I, I was about to say, don't you go random. You might regret it, especially in bracket. Guys, he would get his main. <laughs> oh, that, that's the that's the funniest part of doing random is when you actually get your main. All right. All right. So actually, it is Smashville. All right. Watermelon going Fox this time. And last time that Watermelon went Fox in this matchup, he was getting a lot of damage tracked up, but he would die very early to tippers. I think tippers are something that um, some fast followers won't really do well with, just because like. Especially if it's a horizontal knockback, they're going lower than higher. Yeah, one of those tipper kills was a side B, the other a forward smash, I believe. Okay. He tried to go for dash attack. He probably would have been better off with an up tilt or up smash. Watermelon doing a very good job at holding on to the stage control this time around. Oh, good. Much, good much better than he was with game one of this matchup, where it was very back and forth. Oh, good up smash. All right. Up smash is going to do that stock. Now we see a similar deficit as to what Warren Malone had to come back from in game two. Oh, good for it. Oh, I don't think that was the most optimal follow-up, but it was a good follow-up. 
watermelon shielding all of that, getting some shield pressure there. Oh, try to go for Uppy. That wasn't going to work out. No punish from watermelon, though. He wasn't really in a position to do that. Good forward air. Try to go for the forward smash. That was kind of a weird mix up on the read. Yeah, I wouldn't have. If um, Jacob X card responded to that more appropriately, he definitely would have gotten a back air kill. Definitely. We on the side B doesn't quite anything to work Oh, with. oh Gets to nice. Oh, smash. wow. Not enough to take it out. Watermelon going for the hype up B kill. Ugh, I don't think it we works. We got one of those before, but okay. Forge Bash will take him out. 103% deficit for. Up is going to do it. There's the stock. Yep, there's there the go. game. Watermelon takes it two to one.